Um, how do you rank a partial match domain? Um, and so, you know, the, the way you rank a partial match domain is, um, it's similar to the way you rank an, an exact match domain, right? And so what I'm going to show you real quick is, um, a study I did a little while back. Here we go. Um, so this will give you some more information on it. I'll go ahead and drop this in the chat too. There we go. Um, yeah, so basically the way you really take advantage of an EMD or, or a PMD is by building um, basically branded anchors. So your branded anchor is basically the name of your URL, right? So if you're... Um, if your PMD was um, shoes for, um, let's say, Mr. Big Bobby's Mr. shoes. Rain. Yeah. Big Bobby's shoes. So shoes is like a it's a partial keyword in your domain name, right? So you you would build branded uh, anchor text, which would be Big Bobby's shoes, and you would build a bunch of URL anchor text, which is just actually your your link, right? Yeah. And that basically lets you get the keyword in shoes that allows you to use that keyword in a much more aggressive way mm -hmm. rather than just saying shoes in your anchor text, and then you which can, would be seen as unnatural. You can also get away with adding, you know, um, extra in there a little bit. Big Bobby's rain shoes as an anchor. Big Bobby's uh, trail shoes as an anchor, etc. Um, so yeah, if you if you scroll down, this was an EMD, but PMDs you you take advantage of in the same way. Um, you can see these are the links we built for this month: branded anchor, branded anchor, a variation of the branded anchor, URL anchor, URL anchor, URL anchor. We're hammering it with branded and URL anchors because that is how you take advantage of uh, keywords in the domain name. Doesn't matter if it's PMD or EMD. Um, here's another month, URL, branded, long tail URL. Yeah, you can just scroll through and you can see what we did month by month here. We diversified with some generics here on some cheaper low authority links. See all the big money links up here though, the, the ones that cost more and higher authority. You know, money anchor, URL, money, money, branded, branded. Uh, let's say just URL, money is branded. Um, but yeah, uh, is there anything that I'm... that no, that's that's it. I mean, like you know, for me, partial match domain is my favorite way if I'm gonna start a new site or something. Um, yeah, you, you could know, say even our website, you know, sort of mm -hmm. links a lot is right. kind of a, a partial match domain. It's got links in the domain name. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like partial match or just straight up branded. Uh, I would say partial match is, uh, you know, if you could do kind of like a brand that includes a partial match, mm -hmm. that would be kind of like the when you get too into exact match i feel like the growth of your site ends up getting sniped a lot of times you know you'll find a, an opportunity to pivot as you grow um, but then you're very hard lined into something whereas if you take a partial match you know you've got varying degrees of how you can exit and enter um, you know different things as they they come up yeah, that's um, something definitely need to keep in mind if you're going to go this route is you need to have in your head that you're l having keywords in your domain, even if it's just a PMD can limit you in a way, mm -hmm. uh, but PMD limits you, I guess, much less, less than yeah. an EMD would. An, an exact match domain name uh, is going to limit you a lot further. And they're still really powerful. I keep seeing in the groups a lot that they're not powerful. No, uh, that's which bullshit. I, I don't understand where people are getting this from, but you can see on literally any, basically any SERP that you look up, yeah. there's going to be an it's, EMD. It's like, what do you think? A crawler goes over a URL that's, um, you know, Ben's shoes. Well, what do you think the site's going to be about? Now, it could be about travel. You know, it's got varying degree to, to what the umbrella would house as far as those words go. But um, overall, you know, that's what it's about. So, yeah, just to show you really quick, I, um, I did this example in our group the other day. But basically, I just looked up two of the first keywords that came to my mind. The first one we looked up was buy backlinks because, you know, obviously that's a keyword that we go after because we sell backlinks. You can see here we're number two. 
which is pretty cool. It's and, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm bragging about Number it. Number one again. would be cooler, yeah. but I mean, it's fine. This is a huge keyword, right? Yeah. Buy backlinks. Think about what the competition is like for this keyword. Everyone here sells backlinks. They have access to tons of backlinks. Um, so here you have the EMD right here is ranking number four. They were actually number three the last time I checked, but it just shows you the EMD is ranking up there very high. And then I went ahead and I just searched for Austin Roofers, and then I scrolled down their organic. You have right here Austin Roofing right here, so exact match right here. And you got Yelp, Home Advisor, and you have something your Austin community, Wilson Roofing. Yeah, any of match. the actual roofing companies. Or... Roofing Texas, mm -hmm. you know, with a little bit of a brand in there as well. You could say that's an exact match right there. But yeah, I mean the the first organic result, Austin Roofing has an exact match keyword in the domain. They've got a little bit more and construction on the mm -hmm. end of it. But I mean, it was literally the first two keywords I looked up and bam, right in the top three. What do you know? There's exact match yeah. uh, domain. So I, I really don't know why people are, are trying to say exact matches and partial keywords and domains don't matter. They're still extremely powerful. So whenever you see those people uh, saying anything in the groups, just ignore them and never listen to a single or, thing they or say. Or put again. it up there. Put it go. Well, then why is why is this SERP all loaded up with EMD and PMDs? I don't understand. You know, sir or ma'am, and uh, you know it's a good way of just saying, hey, that yeah, seems if, like bullshit. To if me. you're watching this. It, instead of just ignoring the person not listening to them now help just go out. ahead and type in five random keywords into google yeah and see where the emd is how far up is an emd ranking and then post those screenshots to them and say sorry i think you're wrong yeah it's time to start having some um some SEO police out there, you know, um, maybe we should start a crew SEO police like just because the amount of shit that you read that's just completely n not going to work or not factual that people don't mind putting out there when they're really steering the herd. Um, you know, it affects the herd. It affected me a whole lot when I was starting out. I've wasted a lot of money and time on ideas that I realized um, later on. I, I don't understand, you know, where those ideas came from in general, other than herd mentality of following whatever you hear. But yeah, it seems like it's a real popular thing right now for people to kind of just crap on. Yeah. I, and I really, I, if anyone knows, like if there was a course put out or if there's like some big yeah. guru saying this, I, I just, I'm genuinely I curious think, why I'm seeing oh, it so Oh, I think much. Mueller might have said something actually. Okay. Well, I that, think so. Well, um, of course, people pay attention to that guy right. when they should not. <laughs> Look, listening to like John Mueller, Mueller, however you say his last name, he works for Google. Um, that's like listening to the White House press secretary. It doesn't matter <laughs> what political party, you don't listen to the White House press secretary. That's literally right. like the mouthpiece, the propaganda mouthpiece of the presidential administration. They might say some true stuff sometimes, but a lot of it is just crap. So Google's or John Mueller's job at Google is to tow the official Google line, mm -hmm. right? So they don't give you advice on how to game their system on what's working, okay? So you don't listen, you take everything that guy says with a grain of sand. If that's where this is coming from, it's kind of ridiculous that people are still listening to him with that much um, trust at this point mm -hmm. in time. Kind of ranting today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I drank a little extra coffee this morning, and for some reason, I just woke up and like, uh, you know, I'm ready to do some stuff today. Ready to go. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one. Um... Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!